Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. We're brother to Nano Leaves at Dawn. I remain Shadow Fury 33, your host, and we're gonna have another exhibition match between Flipstep and Rar on La Isla Bonita. And look, the start shuffling works. We don't have someone in the north, we have someone in the west. Or I guess don't have someone in the one o'clock position. We have someone in the nine o'clock position. Because that has actually not happened on stream before. This map, the start box shuffler was actually broken. It got fixed in the most recent version of the game, and that fixed this map nicely. Which is awesome. So yeah, flip step in the southeast corner of the map, or I guess the 7 o'clock position? No. 5 o'clock position. When was the last time I saw an analog clock, now that I think about it? Anyway, 5 o'clock position with gunships, and RAR in the 9 o'clock position with the Cloakybot Factory. Which, I should point out, has the buffed warriors, and the warrior buff has actually been partially reverted. They still have regen, and they still have the turn rate, but they lost their range and they lost their HP. So, they're stronger than before, but they aren't as ridiculously strong as they are in this game right now. Or probably soon will be. And Rar, they're going to have to deal with these gunships. Because Flipstep, I mean, early gunship strategy, especially on a map with shuffling like this, really good idea. Because now that shuffling works, Rar and Flipstep don't know where their opponents are. So they actually have a bit of a safe time to build up air like that. So Rar is going to be setting up a couple, well, scouting glaive. Kind of surprised they're not scouting with both glaives. I mean, one on defense, one on offense is fairly typical, but when you're dealing with three start locations rather than two, or rather one possible start location rather than... Okay, never mind, doesn't matter. Rar realizes, yeah, I gotta, I gotta scout both. Shuffling works now, let's double check both. And they will find Flipsip's location second. Just barely second, but they didn't send both glaives at the same time. So, yeah, it will be second. Are they going... Where are they scouting that one to? Oh, I see. Checking out the natural expansion. Should be able to figure it out as soon as they see this gnat, though. Flipsip checking the north, trying to make sure that they can hit Rar early. And no, they can't, but Rar does see where they are. So now they both know it's not north. Now they know where each other's start location is. And Rar knows that they have to quickly get some defenders up. And Lotus is... Actually, Lotus isn't Razors or whatever. Just any kind of anti-air defense. Gremlins! Something. Warriors actually aren't a bad idea either against Banshees. The Blastings will be a problem, though. That's where the defenders come in. That warrior... Seven, oh, 15 seconds left, and that Nat's going to be a problem. Not a very big problem, mind you. In fact, an extremely small problem. <laughs> I guess Flips didn't expect Shuffle to actually be fixed. How odd, but yeah. Works for them, though. Sheesh. This is a very successful early rush. Rar's commander already taking a lot of damage. Although, as I mentioned in the Epiva that I did on Tuesday, I wouldn't personally want to kill Rar's commander early because if Rar doesn't invest in their commander, they'll invest in their army. And frankly, I think that Rar investing in their commander is one of the easiest ways to deal with Rar. You know they're investing in the commander. I mean, they already have gotten the machine gun. But you know they're investing all their metal into their commander. So just let them do that, and then punish them for it afterwards. Rather than punishing them for it early, and now they get an army and are actually playing it safe. Because they don't have a commander anymore. Before they invested all that money into the commander. But it looks like Flipstep is not moving to kill it, just more because they can't. I mean, really, they actually can't. They do have a crane going to the north, though. It will be easier for Flipstep to build over in the north than Rar, just because Rar's constructors are slower. They don't fly. And also, they're stuck in the main base. But independent of the fact that the Constructor is currently in the main base, and there's only one of them, rather than the two or so cranes. Three cranes, actually. Third one under construction? No, just three cranes active. Okay, yeah, so Flipstep's expanding rapidly. Rar, on the other hand, barely expanding at all. Flipstep, extremely risky with the strategy. Switching over to Cloaky as well. Looks like it's an actual switch. They aren't building any more gunships right now. I mean, they have that one Banshee just to keep Rar honest. But it looks like Rar's going to be able to just swap that away. Not a big deal. And a Blastwing over by the expansion, just in case. I don't know when that expansion is going to actually be taken, though. But hey, it's there. It'll help, at least, a little bit. So, Rar... How long is this going to take? Ooh, that's a long time. Clearly not prioritizing the factory right now, and that's... A potential problem. Like, prioritizing the commander, not prioritizing the factory... Should have enough money fairly soon to not have to worry about it, though. But yeah, I mean, they're building around the map so much. Bit risky, but I don't know if they really care about the harassing glaives. They've... 
They've got nothing to deal with this. Like, at all. Okay, they're getting a Banshee to deal with this, but still, that's going to take a while. That's, yeah, that's not going to be up anywhere near enough time. Like, that can be essentially completely discounted. These Glaives doing a great job. Rar's Harassment doing just fine. Their commander's still up. Their commander's still building up. I mean, as usual. That's what Rar does. But yeah, the Glaives... Good Harassment by Rar getting rid of all these Metal Extractors. I mean, it was a good try by Flipstep, but those Glaives just went around to everywhere that was possibly expanded to that they could. On the Water, no. On the Water is still perfectly safe. So Flipstep can at least get some mileage out of that. But yeah, at this point... Rar wasn't able to expand as quickly, but they also didn't lose them as quickly. I think if Flips would build a couple defenders around each one, like one or two defenders, or, one, or a Lotus, that would have saved it. Because, I mean, one Glaive each, one defender would have taken out each Glaive. Easily. So it's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, a little bit risky. Still, Flips should be able to reclaim their way back into a decent position. I mean, right now, what do they have? Let's see, 500 there, and overall, like... Yeah, it's like 500 metal to reclaim. That's fine. They can work with that. Now the Banshee's able to chase that away. They have some defenses. Hooray! And the Clickabout Factory finally up, but these warriors are on the way. They're on the move. I agree with the Gremlin support. And a bit of defense as well, just in case. Probably are worried about drops, too. Like, that would be the reason you have the warrior here, because you're worried that something is going to get dropped in. Because, hey, it's gunship. Why not? Build a Valkyrie. Build warriors. Warrior drop. Warrior drops are awesome. I'm a little surprised Flipstep not going for that. Flipstep is going for Zeus's, but yeah, Flipstep not going for the warrior drops, but they could, and Rar does not know that they aren't. All they know is the possibilities there. I'm not sure that's why the warriors are at the base, though. No, actually, they aren't. In fact, oh, if Flipstep had gone for warrior drop, this would have been the perfect timing. Like, absolutely perfect timing. There is nothing in the main base to defend this. But at the same time, there is also an attack going on, so I guess that's probably why. And Flipstep's commander pretty much dead. The warrior's in range. The commander's not going to survive this. And two warriors left to basically assault the rest of the base. That is going to be extremely painful for Flipstep. I mean, they have the Zeus in play. They have a Lotus or two. Like They have some defenses, but this entire southern area... Or this lower area, not southern. It's west of their main base. But this entire lower area is dead. It's gone. Totally gone, and Rar just going forward with the Warriors, just pushing these as hard as they can. But Rocco's are up, I mean, they do more or less counter Warriors. I say more or less, because I'm not totally sure now with the Warriors' extra speed. I mean, they, I think the speed was reduced too, but they're quite fast right now. You just tell by how quickly their legs are moving. They are faster than they were before. So I'm pretty sure speed is actually implemented by increasing the frequency of movement. Not totally sure. But their legs look like the moon faster. Regardless, they are faster. But yeah, this four warrior is not going to be trying to deal with the Rockos too much. The Rockos could still kite them. Actually, could they? Let's check. Let's confirm this. Speed, 51 elements per second. Yes, Rockos have 66 elements per second. They have 15 elements per second speed advantage. They could kite. But now at this point, Rar with... Well, more harassment. I mean, also... Also with the Gremlin to deal with this. No defenses up still for Flipstep. There are Banshees, but that's not going to help too much against the Gremlin. No Glaives harassing yet, but why wouldn't there be? I mean, Glaives are being built, so... Or were they being built? I was sure I saw some, but apparently I was wrong. Just Warriors. That's all. But the Rockers are up, and that will help with everything. And another dead crane, meaning that Flipstep can no longer expand to the Northeast. And Rar getting hit. Flipstep trying to go for the edge of the line. Not trying to hit all the warriors at once. Good plan. I totally agree with that. And Rocco's in play. Getting rid of... Well, two warriors were basically free. The hammer's not really a concern. The commander is a concern. Lightning on machine gun, same as last time. The commander is a bit of a concern. And Ra Well... Rar's aware of it. But yeah, it doesn't actually show up on radar. Still... All these Rockos. I mean, seriously. Flipstep pretty much has what they need to counter this. They have the Rockos. They don't have the Zeuser Warrior, but who cares? Because the Rockos are what you need for anti-heavy at range. So, granted, that's... How much... How much is it regaining? 38 health per second. That's less than before. 
Looks like Rar went for a slightly different setup. More armor, less regeneration. Oh, never mind. That's because they hadn't upgraded fully. Okay, never mind. This is actually becoming very difficult. I mean, at least the warriors are gone. That's the, probably the more important thing. Rar's commander is on, their, on its own. That's it. Just the commander, pretty much. There are some Rockos. There are some gremlins. Actually, no. Are there Rockos? There's a couple hammers and a warrior. Just some gremlins. Yeah. Not much here. The only problem is that, at the same time, Rar doesn't have too... Or Philippus doesn't have too much. They are going for the sharpshooter. Or Spectre, that's what it's called now. They're going for the Spectre now. Good choice. But even then, that's going to take three hits to get... Actually, more than three hits to get rid of the striker, just given his reload time. Effectively, I think it's got a 10 second reload time. 17 second reload time. Eek, yeah, with that much, Rar's commander is going to have regenerated 1,000 health. This deals 1,500 a shot. So basically, it's going to deal a net of 500 damage every shot if it's just this, the Spectre dealing damage with that regen. That's how powerful that regen is. That Spectre has had its power cut into a third, effectively, on its own. With support units, fine. But on its own, no. You need to have... You need to be able to do all the shots the Spectre needs at once to be able to deal with it. Having one Spectre hit it over and over and over again, not going to do the trick. It's going to take way too long. And another shot, I mean, it gets it in, but like I said, it's regenerating so quickly, it just does not matter. 55 metal per second in combat regen. I am surprised by this. Sheesh, that auto repair. My goodness. And then Glaives over to the north just to make sure that Flipstip can't get away with cheating out economy. Rar is not making this at all easy for Flipstep. Flipstep's economy is still pretty healthy. They can still cheat water economy. I mean, they are completely out. Like, there's nothing yet that Rar has that can deal with stuff on the water. But over to the north, completely torn to shreds. Glaives just swarming everywhere. I mean, the front lines, Flipstep and Rar are kind of even. Flipstep's able to push Rar a bit back, but still. Flipstep right now, they're having a hard time keeping their economy going. They have a bunch of reclaim to work with, though, and then they are taking advantage of it. Probably could get a couple other workers to do so. I mean, they have... Yeah, they got a couple idle, idle conjurers. Going for a Jumbot Factory, probably Firewalker. Because that's what you do. And with all these defenders, I don't think they're aware of them, though. Oh, yeah, they totally are aware of them. Never mind. No, 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 no. Rar knows the defenders... Sorry, Flipstep knows the defenders are there. They're going for the Firewalker. That's what that's there for. That's what that Jumbot Factory is there for. If it eventually gets built. Ever. I'm a bit surprised the crane isn't... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, surprised to not be building, building here, but it actually is. It is totally building this up. As it should. So, crane's got that sorted. And probably is going to build up over here? No. Cheating out the southwest. Flipstep's got to be aware... I'm sorry, Rar's got to be aware of this. And know that... Rar apparently has not heard of Radar. They don't have any in play. I'm surprised. I expected they would have by now. They would have known about this. I mean, they kind of know about this Southwest just because, I mean, there's a Rapier here and they, they're scouting out everywhere, but the Rapier here is quite defense enough. So at this point, Flipstep, as you can see, not in a good position. Trying to do what they can to get their position back. I mean, those cranes are doing them a lot of good. Like, really, if you think about it, how much have they been able to cheat out just by having cranes around the map? Just expanding around the map, not even having to worry about this. They're still expanding. Think about that. They're being sieged, they are contained, and yet they are expanding. Or repairing, or just generally dealing with air. Like, they're able to expand, they're able to build up defenses, they're able to contain, they're able to go past the contain, and build up. It's not easy, because they can only use flying units to do so, but still. Flipstep can keep their economy going, despite the fact that they're currently being sieged. Like, being besieged clearly has very little effect on them. And the sharpshooter gets rid of one worker every 20 seconds, which isn't great, but that sort of works. I... This is a pretty large army. I don't think Rar's afraid of the commander. I mean, they should know... Yeah, they know the commander isn't up front here. Commander's further up instead, but still, they... I'm a bit surprised this army hasn't gone forward. I think it would be able to deal with this. Not totally sure, though, because that is a lot of Lotus, but I think so. Yeah, this many... 
with the Zeus tanking. But it doesn't matter. Firewalker is up exactly what I expected. Firewalker should be able to deal with these Lotuses no problem. And then the rest of it will be an easy sweep. And a Scuttle to get rid of the Commander. There we go. That's what we need. Scuttle, actually, 8200. Scuttle plus Spectre will do the trick. Scuttle on its own will not. Or never mind. Ah, seriously? Ah, man. Scuttle would actually have done the trick. Just about. Like I said, close. Not quite. Not totally. You know, with a Rapier or a couple other hits. Like, one extra hit. Yeah, actually, a Rapier and a Scuttle together, if they hit at the same time, would do the trick. They would have to hit at the same time, though. That's actually a rather strict condition. Or, hey, just set it on fire with a Firewalker and then go in with the Scuttle. But apparently that's not the way we're going to go. I do think that would be a great idea, though. That would just get rid of the Commander, and Rar has invested so much into the... Oh, never mind. That is what's happening. I thought the Scuttle was replaced. My mistake. And Rar is losing. There's a Commander. There we go. That's what we needed to see for Flipstep. I mean, I don't know why I'm so excited all the time. I'm excited when the Commander dies. Like, it's just... That's a really exciting moment. That's a hype moment. Like, commander deaths are times when the game can turn around. Though Rar with their own gunship factory, they're trying to turn it around again. They aren't letting Flipstep go off easy. And, I mean, Rar's economy was actually fairly healthy. Unlike last game, Flipstep wasn't killing the commander while taking the rest of the map. Flipstep was killing the commander in order to stay alive. They were already in a relatively precarious position when they killed that commander. That just allowed them to get out, to break out of the siege, and actually start building up on the map in a more solid way than just having cranes cheat everything out. Although, to be fair, the cranes still are just cheating everything out, and I'm proud of them for doing so. And the Firewalker is going to die. Ooh, that Firewalker is still in play with 16 health. It needs repair. Desperately needs repair, but hey, it's still in. That Banshee not able to finish it off. So hey, Flipstip managed to re-solidify their position. Well done, Flipstip. Rar, now what's Rar going to be doing? They got the... They have the gunships, they have more cloakies. They're going for a jump bot factory of their own. Are they going to go for flips for the same thing? Are they going to go for Flipstep's same strategy? Like, go in with Firewalker and... I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work at all. I think they're probably going to go for something else. Let's see. Considering that Rar has the Firewalker, they could go for Pyro, because Pyro doesn't ignite. But that wouldn't deal with these units very well. Moderator would make a lot of sense. Although, why you'd switch factors to get the Moderator, I don't know. Considering that Rockers are a thing, but I guess, yeah, that would make sense. I mean, it's it has range, it's instant hit, it deals with air fairly well. It wouldn't be a bad idea. But Banshee's doing a nice job. I mean, Rar with the air allows him to get rid of Flipstip's cheating. He forces Flipstip to be honest, so Rar, hey, you've got something there. But even then, Flipstip took a lot of time to set up around the map while setting up to kill the commander. So it's not like the commander was getting killed just on its own. Oh yeah, this is so cool too. Each module has its own thing. Which is more of a resurrection thing. It's like if you resurrect the commander, the commander is at level 1 again. Which is a neat little change too. I don't know if it's necessarily good or bad, but it's neat. At any rate... Yeah, Sprung pointing out that the top expansions... Rar didn't really take these expansions while attacking. They took a bunch of expansions, but not the expansions that Flipstep had kind of cheated out. And they still aren't. And Flipstep, now that they've gotten their economy back on track, now that they have Overdrive back on track, they have Reclaim, and they're just building up like mad. I mean, they have enough that they're actually ahead economically. Like They're ahead of Rar economically, despite the fact that they've been besieged by them this entire time. Because, I mean, the thing is, when you're containing, contain to expand. That's a typical thing. That's a typical thing to do in an RTS game. Like, if you contain, expand, in order to get the armor you des you definitely need to kill. Because your opponent's going to be trying to get around you and trying to get out of there. And then when they do, they're going to have a big army. Now, RAR, I'm impressed that they have actually managed to keep an army that's relatively difficult to deal with. But still, it is kind of losing fights here and there. But they have got an army that's relatively difficult to deal with. It's not like... Flipstep broke out, killed all of Rar's army, and now Rar's screwed. Flipstep is now still on the back foot. They're still kind of in a position where they're thinking, I don't know, can I push out? But Rar doesn't have the economy to really get that big army. They're getting it, slowly, but they are getting it. And as you see, Firewalker is actually the unit of choice. Rar just mirroring Flipstep.
But honestly, at this point, I think that Flipstep does have an advantage. This this army is being pretty scary. Like, Rar doesn't have a whole lot centralized to deal with this, and they don't have any Rockos. They have no real counters for any of these the Warrior Zeus combo. Nothing. Nothing to deal with this at all. The Firewalker will help, but no Rockos. No Moderators, which would also help. They're going for Mass Warrior themselves. Warrior's good, but it's not necessarily going to beat itself. Amphib Plant as well for Flipstep, probably for boys. We'll see in a moment what it's actually for, but I'm guessing boys. And yeah, the Firewalker coming in, I mean, it's not bad. Firewalkers aren't bad, it's just that Firewalker Warrior is a bit of an odd way to go. And actually really risky. Because the Firewalker reload time is not... nothing. Although a two fire... okay, two Firewalkers, sure, that I can see. Still, Flipstep does have the economic advantage. They did manage to break the siege. They're expanding rapidly now that they've done so. They have loads of reclaim to work with. Just about to get the reclaim. Are they going to get the reclaim here? Because, I mean, this is a lot of reclaim. Like, that was a medal worth of reclaim right here. And Dante to finish stuff off. I mean, they did have taken a fair amount of damage in their main army. The Warriors and Zeus just huddled in the corner, trying to walk into the sea to avoid the fire. Although, to be fair, it's actually really hard for the Firewalkers to hit. This Firewalker has no problem. The one on the cliff won't have an easy time hitting this army. But still able to kite because it has 62 elements per second speed. So it's considerably faster than the Rocco's Zeus combo. Or sorry, the Warrior's Zeus combo. It's actually slower than Rocco, but it's faster than a Warrior. And it's faster than a Zeus. But still, Flipstep harassing the north. Nothing really defending the north. And... <laughs> Already flips have cheated out an expansion of the north as well, because why not? That's been the theme of this game is Rar contains Flipstep, Flipstep cheats out expansions despite being contained. Why would it stop now? I and mean, really, when I said last week that cranes are god tier constructors, I was being facetious, but they're still pretty strong. I mean the Rob is not god tier, but Darn, when they have a map like this, they can cheat stuff out handily. So yeah, this... Well, ducks... Actually, oh yeah, of course, because ducks have the alpha to deal with warriors. It's like, ducks just don't care. Like, sure, they die, but they've dealt their damage. They don't totally beat warriors, but yeah, they're hard to beat with warriors, that's for sure. I mean, I just don't see this working out very well for Ra right now. I mean, the north side is cleared. Felicity hasn't rebuilt there yet, but they're going to. I mean, they have crane. They have well, actually a freaker going to the north because I guess their cranes are busy. Well, only one crane. And now they have a bunch of reclaim to work with. They've just had to reclaim all across the map to work with, and the extra overdrive, and now the Dante is about done, and the north side, and a bunch of expansions throughout the map. Yeah, they've lost a lot of expansions, but they've also regained them. I'm actually really surprised how much pressure there is here. Like, RAR, they have a few paths they could go through to attack metal extractors. I mean, these are the safest expansions, but here, not easily. The Razor's in the way. Over in the, yeah, same same the east side of the map. The north side of the map's being built up. Well, not built up yet, but the Warriors are there just to check for Flipstep. And overall, RAR's, I mean, the Firewalker strategy isn't a terrible idea, but it's not doing a lot. Firewalker Jack now, but still not doing a lot. And flips up with another, tra well, with a transport for the Dante naturally. Ten seconds left for that too, so Dante drop should finish this game off. And a couple razors are in the main base for Rar. That actually three razors in the main base. But I think the Dante will be able to go around. Like if they go along the south, like if this goes around the exact path it's taking. Actually, I was gonna say yeah, go along the south, go along the sea, come up the side. The razors will hit it at the very end of its trip. But it'll definitely survive that. And Rar, okay, getting a bit of ground back, but that Dante, I mean that we know that Dante's coming in. That's a huge That's a huge problem. That's a huge ace up flip step sleeve, just to finish this game off. The flip step right now with their economy. I mean, sheesh. Three times the economy, because they're they're taking the north, they're reclaiming everything. They've just got all this map control. And Rar is reclaiming desperately, but the Firewalkers really don't help get map control. So at this point, 
I think there's not much to say other than the Dante drop's going to come in, and that'll finish things off. Although, Razors might put a stop to this. We'll have to check the Vindicator health. Keep an eye on that. Oh, never mind. It's below the cliff. Oops, I didn't quite see that. But yeah, it was below the cliff the entire time. The Razors actually couldn't see it, but it doesn't matter. The Dante able to get some shots in before the Vindicator dies. Actually, just able to get into the base. Not even shots in. Just, just thoroughly drop successful. Very much so. Drop successful. I think this is going to seal it. Like, RAR is getting hit on both sides. Yep. Throws in the towel. I mean, hey, it's a hell of a way to end the game. That's for sure. And apparently RAR wanted to do the same thing during the siege with the comm, but unfortunately the commander was a bit too far forward for that to be safe. And that scuttle took it out. A nice Dante drop to finish off from Flipstep. I mean, that was a turnaround. Sheesh. I mean, Rar had all the control. They didn't take the north side, unfortunately, and their commander was a bit too riskily forward. Like, that was the biggest problem. I mean, they could have gone for a calm drop, and it actually would have been pretty powerful had they done so a bit earlier. Like, they did so about a minute before their commander got killed. They had the time. Just dropped it in. It was fully upgraded. It could have torn the base to shreds. And, I mean, Rar actually had an income advantage for several minutes, too. Well, okay, middle income advantage. But still, yeah. Fortunately, a bit of excess, but yeah, it's just really... Rar just had... They had a larger army for the longest time, and then they lost their commander in that. And the Firewalker attack in the main, on the little firebase over in the front that was sieging primarily, that finished it off. But yeah, very nice scuttle usage. I think that really turned it around. It just would have been nice if the commander was a little bit further back. A transport would have been able to deal with the commander, and that would have just done the trick. But that's where it goes. So the last match is going to be between Flipstip and Dorsch on Ravaged. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.